To its core, six dead, six widows, and 17 orphans continue to live with the tragedy every day. Now it's emerging that on top of dealing with unimaginable tragedy, some are fighting in the courts to be recognized as victims of a criminal offense, which would allow them to qualify for certain financial assistance. We are, of course, talking about the Quebec City mosque shooting. Joining us now is a lawyer for one of the widows of that shooting, Kaija Sabti, lawyer Marc Belmar. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering if, um, uh, first off, if you could paint a picture of what Madame Thabti went through on that horrible night. Okay, the night of the shooting, she was home at uh, 7.30, and she uh, received a, a phone call from a friend saying that something happened in the mosque of Quebec, and her husband was uh, praying at the mosque that night. So she uh, took a look on Facebook and she realized that there was really something, uh, something important that was happening at the mosque. So she, she, she took place in her car with his son. He was 10 years old and a friend. And they, 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 they went to the mosque. So the police said that it was impossible to get in. Uh, a lot of people were there, uh, panic and uh, uh, ambulance and police and uh, firefighters and everything and a lot of people were very uh, frightened by the, what's, what was happening. Mm -hmm. So trauma that night, um, she was at the scene and then uh, trauma has lasted since then until this day, uh, clearly. So, so why, according to EVAC, why is your client not considered a victim? Does it have to do with, with, with having to be present uh, at the time of the shooting at the scene? Yes, that, that's what they say. That's what Ivac says. Ivac says that a victim is somebody who's been directly injured, physically or mentally, uh, according to the crime. But that's not what the law says. The law says you are a victim if you're injured directly. Sure, that's that's the case of her husband. Uh, or if you uh, if you live uh, a mental shock. Uh, in the course of an accident, you are a victim too. So it's not only the victim who is directly injured, but those who are, by reason of the accident, a victim of a, a, sh a mental shock. Mm -hmm. That's what happened for uh, most of the people. If you know that your wife or your son or your daughter is is in danger, uh, she, she's been aggressed, uh, and you, you will live something important, even if you're not on the scene of the crime, but you're close to the scene of the crime. You know, when you arrive at the mosque and you see all the police, all the people, and you know that's, that, that, that uh, some, somebody killed somebody else in the mosque, uh, you, you fear for yourself because yeah. you think, uh, maybe I'll be the next one. And you fear for the, the, somebody you love who is inside the house where the shooting uh, took place. And on top of all this, uh, this the tribunal is only um, uh, hearing this case uh, two years later, two years after the tragedy. You reached out to Madame Sonia Lebel, a Quebec Justice Minister. What can she do in this case? And what, do you, when, what, in your opinion, do you think is her responsibility when it comes to this case? She's responsible of the law. Uh, la loi sur l'indemnisation des victimes d'actes criminels. She's uh, politically responsible of IVAC, and uh, she can do something. She can tell IVAC, okay, that's all. Okay, you will have to recognize the, the, that this woman has been uh, is a victim according to the law, and her two uh, children too. And uh, it's not the only case. This this case is well known because of the shooting of the mosque. But a lot of people in Quebec victims claim to evac and they receive a letter saying that they won't be compensated and it has to change on the top of the the the, the structure they have to change their culture they have to change the way they deal with the victims and they have to to say the truth they don't have to say the victims that they're not compensated because they were not in the scene of the crime this is stupid and that's not what the law says for now 45 years because it's in place since 1972 and uh, it's a question of sincerity for the victims. These people don't have energy to fight. They don't have the time to, 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 to ask a lawyer. They don't know the law. They just simply claim, and the government has to tell them the truth and to give them the, the, the money they, they are allowed to, to receive. All right. Thank you very much for your time tonight, uh, lawyer Marc Belmont. Thank you.